In this tutorial I'm going to be looking at a type of method that returns a boolean value. So I've in a previous tutorial I've looked at methods that return values. For example, returning an integer, returning a double, returning a string. In this case I'm going to look at a particular type of return value which is a boolean. These are, uh, are, are the same essentially as any other type of return value method but I'm going to give them special consideration because they are particularly useful when you are evaluating any kind of condition, whether that's an if-else statement, so the if condition, whether it's a loop condition, whether or not you should exit the loop or stay in the loop. So I'm going to put together a fairly simple Boolean method just so you can see what that looks like. Um, in this case, so it's a it returns type Boolean, so instead of void here I'm going to put I'm going to put the keyword boolean and just like other methods that are returning a value this is asking a question and so you want to choose a name that makes the both the type of question that you should ask and also the type of answer very clear for boolean methods the answer is is, is always going to be true or false and so you'll quite often use words like is to prefix it. In this case I want a boolean method that determines whether or not a given age represents a teenager. So I'm going to pass it an age as an integer and in my main method I'm going to ask the user I'm going to ask the user please enter an age and I'm going to get an age so let's say age is equal to in dot get int now as it stands right now I'm just asking for an age let's create a variable for age and what I want to do is I'm going to keep running this program um, while they enter a teenage age and then I'm only going to exit if they enter something that's not a teenager. And so the way I do that is I'm going to say while is teen age. So while the age that they give me is a teenager's age, I'm going to keep asking them. So how would I make this that is not a teenager? Please enter an age that is not a teenager. And then I'm going to ask for that age and if they give me a teenager, teenager's age, which would be between 13 and 19, then I'm going to ask them again. Otherwise, I'm done my program. And I'll exit. So how do I determine? Really, the writing of the isTeen method is almost secondary to how we actually make use of it. So I'm just going to put a little bit of spacing here just so we can focus on the condition itself. So what's, what is the condition of my do while loop? And it's this is teen based on the age that I give it. So up here, how do I determine whether or not someone's a teenager? If the age that comes in is greater than or equal to 13, and the age that comes in is less than or equal to 19 then I will return true else I will return false now actually I'm not going to play this particular there's a little uh, thing that I've done there with regards to the brackets so I want to clean that up so here's my if condition here is my else condition. And so if their age is between 13 and 19, I return true. If, if their age is anything else, I return false. So please enter an age that is not a teenager. If I compile and run that, it's not allowing me to run. There we go. So please enter an age that is not a teenager. So if I put in a teenager's age, 15, 
It's going to ask again, 16, ask again, 17, ask again, 21, and the exits. So in, in this case, I have used a Boolean method as my entire condition here. And I could reverse this. Now, what if I decided I want an age that is a teenager? Well, in that case, this condition is no longer correct because this is going to repeat the loop while it's a teenager. But now I've decided I want to exit the loop if they give me a teenager. And this is a very another nice thing you can do with Booleans, a Boolean method. If I want to reverse the result of a Boolean method, I just put an exclamation point in front of it. And now the way this reads is it's going to say, do this loop while I don't have, or while this is not this condition. So do this loop while not is a teenager. And if I compile and run that one, please enter an age. Oh, I, yes, please enter an age that is a teenager. So now I'm going to enter an age that isn't 21, 45. And then as soon as I enter something like 13, I've given them what they, given the program what it's looking for. Okay, so that is the idea of a Boolean method. Make sure that when you name your Boolean method, you, you give it a name that logically has an answer that's either true or false. And things like the prefix is, um, things like the prefix are, A-R-E, that's another one that's sometimes used. Uh, some examples of, of these names, for example, you might have, you don't always have to have the is. For example, you could have a Boolean method called game over. That would make sense. You could have a Boolean method called is raining. You want something that can easily be related to an answer of being true or false. Okay, so that's a just a special type of a method that returns values called a Boolean method.